okay guys so how to create a uzi workflow so for this what you have to do you have to first open hue then click on workflow then click on editors then again click on workflow okay now what you have to do click click a workflow click on create you want to create a new workflow so over here you can see there are various options available for us okay to be added into this new workflow first give a name let's say you have given a name test one or you have given a name let's suppose test two okay you have given your workflow name as a test two tst2 now what you have to do let's perform some hadoop file operations first click on this fs now once it's highlighted just release uh, this file over here then tell this file what operation you wanted to perform let's suppose you wanted to perform a create directory now click over here and then let's suppose what you wanted to do you wanted to uh, perform some operations uh, inside this uh, let's suppose you want to create a folder or you want to uh, upload a file let's suppose Hadoop directory to inside this Uzi select this file batch 530 then Hadoop create directory okay now inside this file this is for example now this is what you wanted to create but let me just change the path okay so it is what is the workflow name tst2 and hadoop create directory this is what i wanted to do okay now after this what i wanted to do let's suppose i wanted to perform a hive operation so select here hive server 2 scripts then once it's highlighted release your mouse okay then it will ask you to provide the path of your hive script okay so what you can do you can give any of any uh, you can create a, a hql file in your sdfs and then you can give the path of it okay then what you can do you can click on add or if you want to select something else you can do it batch again then here i have given a high script high script.hql now over here what i'll do i have clicked on add and i have changed this name hive script let's suppose two okay so now let me go to that particular location okay this is batch again okay this is what what is the path batch again hive script two over here batch again hive script two okay so over here what i have written this i just copied and create a new file create a new file with the name of hive script two okay i'll create and then i'll edit this file and i'm going to create a table with the name of test3 that's it okay so this is the path user cloud era uzi batch again hive script 2 okay so this is the path so let me check user cloud era uzi batch again hive script 2 this is the same path batch again hive script 2 batch again hive script 2 so i have given the same path so what i what i am doing i am creating i am uh, creating a directory then i am creating some hive table then what i wanted to do again let's suppose i want to perform a scoop operation so for this scoop operation i need some scoop command to be written so let's suppose this is my scoop operation instead of patch again let me just test two i have just changed the path rest everything will be same okay so what i'll do i'll just remove this and paste the path okay paste my import command i'll click on add 
now what i'll do i'll click on save okay and then i'll click on let me change the name test 2 okay now let me run this workflow it is asking do you want to do a dry run before submitting the job no i do not want to do a dry run i just wanted to submit it so once i submit it i will come to see a, I'll, I'll be able to see a graph in this it will show me the stages of different commands whether it's in progress completed failed whatever okay so over here i can see the status so my first task is completed now second is running and third is in queue so once the second task is completed then my third task will get start so let's wait a couple of minutes see now my second task is also got completed it, it has come to 60 percent now this scoop import is in progress okay so over here you will get the option you can kill the job you can suspend it okay uh, uh, you can send the mails and this is your application id this is your progress and there are various steps over here which we'll see once this job gets finished so it should get completed in some time i guess okay so now you can see it is completed so first let's see what happened so first what i did i have uh, created a directory right so that is the test2 directory which i have created now inside this i have created a hadoop directory right and inside this there is a hadoop create directory 2 in which my import task is completed so you can see the data over here okay all the data which is available in this hive table it is sorry in this mysql table which is employees it caught see we have imported the data for employees right for this oz view data set so we have all the tables in this oz so this is how we can uh, create a uzi workflow now in this uzi workflow let's see all this see these are the different actions which has performed this is the file system action this is the hive action this is the scoop action you can click on job and you can see the logs of those actions as well then there's the details of this now in this details you will see one path just open this path in a new tab okay you will get a directory in this directory there will be a property file and there there will be a workflow.xml file so this is the workflow.xml file okay so what it is saying is it is saying to me that what is the first job this is the first job which is written into the start to tag once this job get completed if it is okay then i have to run this job what is this job this is nothing but a this job once this hive job gets completed you can see inside this action tag i have a action of action tag of hive so inside this i have written a hive script once this hive script is completed i'll say if it is okay go to this particular tag this is this particular tag in this tag i have written a scoop import statement so what if it is done then end the workflow so this is how your workflow navigates apart from this there is another job.property file so in this job.property file you will file 
uh, you will find a job tracker name no try and a few other informations okay which is required for your workflow so in your workflow you have already seen that there is an information of job tracker and name node so these two information will get from the property files okay so this is how we can create a workflow and we can run it